What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 12th advanced tutorial in Java. Um, so finally we're going to be learning how to read data in from a file that's already created. Um, so I don't actually create a file in this tutorial. Um, I already have a pre-existing file so I'm going to just make a basically an object to that file um, so we have our happy file.txt and I actually changed the contents so it's just located in my NetBeans project folder and it's got a little bit of data in here let's clean that up a little bit <clears throat> so right here we got a name and it just says Anthony beside it and an ID and then an ID beside it and that's what's in this happy file.txt so a lot of the times when you're dealing with programs you're gonna be reading in from text files <coughs> sorry whether it's personal information, um, statistics about a video game, let's say your, your how much money you have or how much health you have. When you make a save file, it's going to be storing that into a file and when you restart the game later, it's going to read out from that file. And basically, that's how you have a save state. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be just teaching you guys how to read in this data from the file. So to do this, it's actually really super easy. Um, really super easy. Wow, so corny. Anyways, so let's make an object to read in from the file. So if you guys remember way back in like the fourth beginner tutorial or something, I taught you guys how to read in from the keyboard. Well, you can actually use the scanner class to read in from a file as well. So you could go scanner and uh, we call it file scanner is equal to new scanner. Now before we used to go, I think it was system.in, which basically got data in from the keyboard. Yeah, it was system.in. Um, but in this case, scanner also takes another parameter, uh, an alternative parameter, which is um, a file object. So we could go happy file. And it's the same thing. Make sure you import your java.util.scanner. I kind of did that without you guys seeing it. Um, and basically all we have to do after that we just need to read in the data from the file so to do this we could go one by one and we could go so I don't know sc dot next or let me explain this to you guys so basically use your sc object and you put a dot separator and why isn't it oh it's because I didn't name it sc <laughs> I named it file scanner I'm used to you calling it SC, but I called it a more descriptive thing and it blew up in my face. So file scanner dot. And then we could use dot next. We could use dot next, but next only prints out um, a word. And once it gets to a space, that counts as one word. But if we use next line, it will print out this whole. Well, what the heck is that? This whole line here. If we use just sc.next, we would just get name and then colon and it would stop at the space. And then this would be treated as another word. This would be treated as another word and this one finally. But if we use next line, we're going to get this line and this line. So if we print this out right now, we're just going to get one line. And that should be name Anthony. So name colon Anthony. <clears throat> now we could go like this. Do another one. File scanner dot next line Ugh. dot next line to get the last line <clears throat> but what if we have like a thousand it'll it'll print it out perfectly fine but what if we have like a thousand um like lines of data in our file we don't want to make a thousand print statements so for this we could make a while loop um we could go let's delete this i guess actually i'll copy it and i'll put it in <laughs> because I'm lazy. So, let's just make a while loop to do this. And we could go while, and then we could use a special little, oh, I used sc again, <laughs> while file scanner dot, and then we could use a special little um, method that uh, the scanner class has, and it's called has next, and it's right here. And basically it returns a boolean, and Essentially, it just checks to make sure that we're not at the end of the file. So it'll keep going through the loop, um, printing out uh, each line in the file until it gets to the end of the file. So we're going to go while file scanner dot has next. 
we're going to just print out the next line in the in the file so if we run this again we should get the same result there we go we get name anthony id so if we had like i don't know just copy and paste this a whole bunch of times Ooh, mess that one up now let's change it to like bob jim tim change this one 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 two 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 and then four 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 five four whatever there we go <clears throat> now if we run this again where is it if we run this again we should get all that data out of the file name anthony and all that other jazz um so yeah i think that's all i wanted to do in this tutorial and yeah so if you guys have any questions again feel free to comment in the descript not in the description don't do that um comment down below or send me an email whatever um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one